Hello guys and welcome back to the Darwin Setup Guide. In this part I'm going to talk about the direct drive adjustments. So in the last part we've talked about the strap drive adjustments in total. The cool thing about the Darwin is that it can handle, the basic Darwin can handle the strap as well as the direct drive. If you're curious about how the conversion from strap to direct drive and the other way around works, feel free to check out the video I've made about that. A link to that is in the description. One adjustment you already know about this whole mechanism, which is the generic footboard adjustment by loosening this screw here and then you're able to yeah, stretch out or shorten the length depending on the direction you want to go in order to reach the footboard height you're looking for. So a cool thing is that the Darwin offers two independently adjustable um, leverage adjustments. One on the bottom where it actually connects to the footboard and the other one on the top which is basically a modified um, adjustment of the one to eccentric cam on the strap drive setup. So obviously the bottom section does have has way more range than the top section so that's also the one I would recommend to experiment more if you just feel the need to do a decent adjustment here and there because the access is easier and yeah it's just quicker to do if you want to get an idea how it feels and if it's something and if not. Um, this leverage adjustment works similar to any other adjustment on the direct drive pedal where you're able to put the, drive, the, the direct drive linkage on another position. So either you're able to shift it back and forward. On this section here you do have different threads where you can hook it in in order to get it more to the front and more to the back. So in this footboard adjustment or this, this leverage adjustment on the footboard does a, a similar job and to break it down the more you go away from the drum head towards the heel area the lighter the pedal starts to feel on the downside the pedal needs more footboard motion in order to reach the same beta rotation as if the whole adjustment would be all the way towards the drum head so it more or less works um, on the opposite way compared to any adjustment you have on the top. If you know an axis VDL adjustment, if you go all the way close to the drum head, the pedal feels very, very light better. If you go all the way back, the pedal feels some sort of more on the heavy side, sometimes a little hard to control. So when you have the beta or when, when you have this adjustment all the way back, that means the pedal feels quite light, but also it, need, it requires lots of motions. If you go all the way out, obviously that's the other way or that's that's the opposite way and the pedal needs less footboard motion to reach the same beta rotation it probably you can compare that it feels a little bit more chain like but a direct drive pedal feels always a little bit different because this rolling point is fixed and on a strap and on a chain pedal it variates during the rotation because that's how it just works um, on the direct drive pedal this ro radius is always fixed so the whole adjustment or the whole mechanism always travels on the same radius which leads to a different feeling compared to a chain or to a strap pedal but yeah to break it down and to don't make it much more complicated than it is if you go closer to the drum head with this adjustment the pedal starts to feel heavier and requires less footboard motion and if you go more towards the heel area the pedal starts to feel lightweight or more lightweight and requires a little bit more footboard motion the same thing goes on on the top leverage adjustment with the only difference that it works once again the other way around so if you go if you just push this segment and so this linkage closer to the drum head that means that the pedal starts to feel a little bit lightweight and requires more footboard motion and if you let it all the way in it is a little bit more on the heavy side and requires less footboard motion so the interesting thing here is to combine these two setups so for example if you have found a setup that works quite good for you here when you go all the way out but you still feel need that it should be a little bit more on the light side but um, shifting this block further in doesn't give you the feeling you're looking for it's probably the necessary to shift this block more towards the drum head in order to reach this feeling so you probably for example you want this more or less heavy feeling but looking for a little bit of lightweight adapted as well just push this cam on the top outwards a little bit on top and that's probably a setup you really really like um, 
similar to the stra whole strap drive adjustment thing, I always recommend to um, separately adjust or experiment with these adjustments. So leave one adjustment fairly standard and, and mess around with the other adjustment. So keep this one yeah, on the, on the standard position and mess around with this top leverage and yeah, push the leverage on the top all the way in it, mess around with the bottom leverage. And then when, once you got an idea how both leverages works, start to combine them and start to mess around with them. It's not useless. It's, it's not much useful if you just randomly mess around until you probably found the setup or not. And you don't know what you did in order to get to the setup. Because when you just mess around with one setup at a time, you get a clue how the pedal and how the setup feels and how it works basically. So it probably takes you a few minutes longer, but it's in my eyes, it's definitely worth to do it that way because you just get known your pedal and you also get known other pedals. That's the whole magic behind, yeah, that thing. <laughs> so that's the two main adjustments the direct drive offers. I will just bring it back to the generic standard setup. And that's also the thing that has the most influence on the direct drive pedal. So I think I've mentioned it in one of the earlier parts. There is something I like to call direct drive timing. So a direct drive pedal has its lowest point. So for example, here, when I go press all the way through here, the pedal stops at this point. It doesn't go any further. In that case, it doesn't matter because the beater would still reach the drum head. But if I would play with, for example, a larger beater angle or with a lower footboard cam angle, that would lead to a setup that won't work because the beater won't reach the drum head. So basically what you do with that adjustment or with that timing thing is you can decide on which point the direct drive pedal feels a certain way. If you're looking for a very, very tight wall feeling on the end point of your drum head, and if you want to have all the feedback and you want to have a, yeah, quite, quite some movement going on and coming back from the pedal, it's probably interesting to have the setup very close to this end point. So to play the pedal either with a larger beta angle or with a lower footboard cam angle to get closer to this point. If you're looking for um, a feeling that um, is closer to a chain or to a strap drive, which goes all the way in and doesn't stop, it just snaps in and that's it. You don't get any feedback, any mechanical or geometrical feedback from the pedal, then it would be necessary to go the other way around. Either place the beat a little bit closer towards the drum head, or just shift the, the footboard cam more towards, uh, more upwards actually, because that leads to a more snappy feeling and that um, would allow you basically, if you're looking for this end point, this end point would be way, 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 way um, above the drum head surface. So you won't reach this end point and you, with, you, you, you reach the drum head first because, be, before you reach any end point. So, once again, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of saying that, but that's a very interesting setup combination. Not many people are aware of that it actually works. If you have an independent adjustable beta angle and footboard angle and um, linkage height adjustment, because that allows you to completely mess around with all these adjustments and actually messing around with this timing can be very, very interesting if you're looking for a certain technique. I know from guys who play on the very fast side who are just looking for this trigger. They play a setup very, very close to this, yeah, to this, to this um, end point, as I like to call it, just in order to trigger the football trigger or the, the bass drum head trigger, and that's it. And then they, they, they rely on this completely extreme feedback the pedal gives them on this end point. Um, yeah, it's something definitely worth experimenting about that. If it was too complicated now, if you just need some further explanation, if you do have some, some further questions, feel free to reach out to me. I mean, if there are more than two people, I probably make another video about that, where I just try to break it down a little bit more and just talk a little bit more just about this certain area and this certain mechanism on the direct drive pedal. But that's the thing with direct drive timing. So. 
to sum it up, experiment or I recommend to experiment with one setup adjustment at a time, mess around with the bottom leverage adjustment, then with the top leverage adjustment and then mess around a little bit with the timing. Just move the football cam a little bit up, a little bit down, just um, because that won't influence the beta angle and so your spring tension. So if you just want to mess around with the direct drive timing, just tilt this football cam back and forward and leave the beta and the basic spring tension where it is. Um, everything else would increase or we, we would adjust the spring tension and the feeling of the pedal on a certain way on another way on top. So with that being said, I think that's all I can tell you about the direct drive mechanism for now. So I think I've talked enough and I hopefully see you in the next part.